Hello everyone, today we're going to make chicken curry. This almost authentic Indian curry recipe comes from an Indian roommate I worked with and the influence of a few other sources. We'll use mostly traditional methods and absolutely no curry powder. We'll start by making rice, apparently a not so easy thing. So here's the easiest way I know how. Spend $30 and buy a rice cooker. Now we'll marinate the chicken and lemon juice I have here. Cut your chicken into pieces. Add to the lemon juice with 10 grams of salt and set aside as we prep the rest. This is a double marination, a very important thing that is often overlooked. Next, we'll make ginger garlic paste. Here I have 65 grams of ginger, peel it with a spoon and rough chop it. Add an equal amount of garlic and three ounces of water to help everything come to a paste. I have a mini food processor, but you can smash and chop everything the best you can into a paste. Next is the most important part of the dish, the spices. First is seven grams of cumin seed and five grams of mustard seed. In a separate bowl, measure out 10 grams of Kashmiri chili powder or cayenne, absolutely not the chili powder you see at the grocery store. Next, 15 grams of paprika, three grams of turmeric and five grams of salt. For this recipe, I have one kilogram of tomatoes. Cut out the stem part and cut them into rough chunks. We will be blending this later, so precision doesn't matter. Do the same with a large red onion, as red onion is the predominant choice in Indian cooking. Now chop an entire bunch of cilantro, saving some for the garnish. Next, drain the lemon juice from the chicken, but keep the lemon juice. Then we will add three tablespoons of yogurt and a couple of tablespoons of the spice mixture to the chicken and mix. This is the second marination, and ideally this would sit overnight, but marinating the chicken is optional because we're not grilling the chicken like you would for chicken tikka masala. I just do it for extra flavor. In a large pot on medium heat, add a good amount of oil. Once the oil is hot, add the seeds and stir. As soon as they start popping, add the spices. Stir and cook until they become fragrant and you die from the pepper spray that we have created. Once you can't breathe, add in the ginger garlic paste to cool down the spices before they burn. Cook this until you smell the garlic, then add the onions and cook them for a few minutes while you go open the windows. Add the tomatoes and cilantro. Stir and cook until you see bubbling liquid, then add just enough water to cover the tomatoes. Let this simmer for at least 30 minutes, but 45 minutes or one hour is best. Now we are going to puree it. Here I have an immersion blender, but you can use a regular blender, but be careful. If no blender, just mash everything and cook for an additional 30 minutes until everything breaks down and it looks like tomato sauce. Once the sauce is done, we will add the chicken, lemon juice, and 32 grams of sugar. Cook for three to five minutes or until the chicken is done. Then turn off the heat and stir in 80 grams of butter and two grams of MSG. If you're afraid of MSG, don't be. Go read some research. Serve alongside the beautiful, perfect rice that you made and enjoy. Pair with a light lager beer, an off dry Chenin Blanc, or even an Osti Spumanti for a real treat. 
like, subscribe, and stay tuned to see what will we cook next.